with him. Baby Jones, baby Jones. Got to get with him. Got to get with him. Hit the song. Got to get with him. Hit the song. Got to get with him. Top Ranks presents A Tale of Two Cities. Miguel Cotto and Michael Jennings rumble for the WBO welterweight title as a main event at Madison Square Garden. Then it's off to Youngstown, Ohio, where Kelly, the ghost Pavlik, will defend his world middleweight championship against number one contender Marco Antonio Rubio in Youngstown, Ohio at the Chevrolet Center. Both events are scheduled for Saturday, February 20th. 21st and will be broadcast live on pay-per-view. And first we'll talk about uh, the middleweight uh, championship match which will be seen on the screens in Madison Square Garden and will take place uh, in the Chevrolet Center in Youngstown, Ohio. Please uh, welcome uh, the challenger Marco Antonio Rubio. Y pues, les quiero decir que no quiero desaprovechar esta oportunidad y gracias a Kelly Pavlik por la oportunidad, les voy a dar una gran pelea para este 21 de febrero. This is a great opportunity for me, and I, I know I got to take advantage of it. I want to thank Kelly Pavlik for uh, also giving me this opportunity, and uh, I'm going to be ready. Como todo boxeador, eh, soñamos con ser campeón del mundo. Es mi sueño, y este 21 de febrero voy a salir para concretar ese sueño pues vamos a buscarle la victoria como de lugar. Like every fighter in the world, you know, our dream is to become a world champion. That's my dream. And on uh, February 21st, I'm going to realize that dream by winning the fight. Muchas gracias a todos por estar aquí. Muchas gracias a toda la empresa. Y pues ahí los esperamos que estén atentos a la pelea. Gracias. Well, thank you for being here. And I uh, hope uh, you'll be watching the fight. And uh, thank you for that too. Gracias. Uh, last year, uh, Kelly Pavlik, the middleweight champion, had a little bump in the road, and a number of people were responsible uh, for that. Uh, one, uh, we had him fight uh, a fight 10 pounds above uh, his normal weight class. Secondly, uh, uh, and without excuses, uh, uh, he was ill the week of the fight and uh, uh, decided that he wanted to fight nevertheless. And third, Bernard Hopkins fought a superb fight that only a great veteran fighter uh, could uh, pull off. Uh, but Kelly is back and uh, he's not deterred as you'll hear from him and he resumes his career as middleweight champion of the world and uh, looks uh, at Marco Antonio Rubio as the first step in a long process of defending uh, his middleweight title against all comers. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'd like to thank Top Rank um, for this opportunity. I think it's a great show. I'd like to thank Madison Square Garden um, be on a card, you know, me and Cotto, I've been a fan of his, the way he's fought and, and the, uh, the show he puts on for all of his fans and for boxing is great. Um, I'm going in against a great fighter of Rubio. Um, coming off, coming off my last fight, uh, you know, I, I think it's very important for me to go out there in this fight in front of my hometown and the great fans that I have and put on a great performance. Um, you know, I, I definitely have to, to showcase and, and show the naysayers that um, I'm here and that I'm one of the top fighters in the world. And with the Antonio Rubio, um, you know, this is one of his uh, great opportunities. It's a great time for him. Kid's got a lot of heart, got a lot of guts. He has pop in his punch. And, um, you know, he's coming. He's taking. He's going to try and take advantage of this. So he kind of meets me at a, at a point in my career where this is a, a do or die fight for me also. And um, we're not taking nothing lately. Um, we're going into this camp uh, at a 120 um, percent. We're working on everything. We're going back, back to the basics, and uh, we're going to train like we never did before. I think it's going to be a great night of boxing in, in New York and in Youngstown. And once again, I'd like to thank everybody, and uh, you know, stay tuned to the 21st because it's going to be fun. Thanks.
Thank you. And now for the main event uh, here in Madison Square Garden. The welterweight championship of the WBO is now vacant. And uh, Miguel Cotto and Mike Jennings will fight for the vacant title. He's here today with uh, uh, Dennis Gilmartin uh, from Frank Warren's uh, Sports Network organization. So I'd like to bring them both up, Dennis uh, and uh, the uh, fighter uh, from England, uh, Michael Jennings. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I have to make an apology for, for Frank Warren, who couldn't make the trip. Um, but he's looking forward to being here for the 21st. Um, I'm sure he'll be able to answer a lot of your questions uh, then. It's great to be back in New York, and it's particularly great to be working with Top Rank again. Uh, it's always fantastic. Uh, what you have here in Michael Jennings, as he's not fantastically well known in the States, um, is a real deserving story. This is not a guy that had his uh, pro debut in the spotlight. Um, and then has been thrown in early. This is a guy that's really earned his position, a 35 fight professional career. Um, really earned his position, learned his trade, um, and is a guy that has never cut a corner. Absolutely lives the life of a professional fighter um, and can do 12 rounds stood on his head. Um, everyone might look at him as an underdog, but whoever he's fighting against, if they've cut any single corner, then Michael, Michael Jennings will find it out because wherever round it's in, he can go at any pace as long as you like and he's a real dedicated, out-and-out -out welterweight who's earned his number one position. There's no illusions. He knows what he's got in front of him in Miguel Cotto, and maybe Miguel Cotto doesn't know what he's got in front of him in Michael Jennings. Obviously, we know Miguel in England very well, and a fantastically respected fighter, and, and rightly so. But uh, Michael Jennings, as he said before, he's not here on holiday. He's completely aware of what's in front of him, and uh, a modest guy, so I'll have to give him a little bit of a G up for him, because he's a, a modest guy, um, who absolutely knows what he's doing and is going to take full advantage of that on the 21st of, uh, of February. So I'd like to introduce you to Michael Jennings from Manchester, England. Yeah, um, cheers for having me over here. First of all, I just want to thank Top Rank again, you know, for giving me the opportunity to come to New York, fight in Madison Square Garden. He said a mecca of boxing against uh, a top opponent in Miguel Cotto, you know what I mean, who I've always respected, you know, from being a boxing fan as well as being a professional boxer. I know I've got a mammoth task in front of me, but like Dennis said, you know, I'm a proud man and I'm coming, I'm not coming to just lie down, I'm not coming for an holiday. As far as I'm concerned, I'm coming to win. You know what I mean, that's it, give it my best shot. Well, Miguel Cotto, uh, last July, uh, lost the first fight of his career. Now that's a traumatic event, but great fighters uh, lose a fight and come back better than ever. The great uh, Sugar Ray Leonard lost to Roberto Duran and came back better than ever. Uh, many fighters do. He has a lot riding on the fight. Uh, there's a revenge rematch looming out in the horizon in June uh, against Margarito. Uh, but all that has to be on the back burner. He's here with his trainer and uncle, Evangelista Cotto. Uh, please welcome the former welterweight champion of the world, Miguel Cotto. Thank you, Bob. Uh, thanks to everybody to be here. Uh, I have to thank uh, Top Rank, uh, the people from Jennings, the people from the HBO for make a... Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the people from Top Run again. <laughs> uh, the WBO, sorry, for make this uh, fight happen. And I'm pretty happy to be here again in, in New York, in Madison Square Garden, to try to uh, recap the things uh, when when I'm I have it before the the last uh, last June, uh, I'm going to work hard for for this night. I know Jennings uh, coming to try to bring the title to to England with him, but I'm going to prepare enough for for this fight. Uh, I want to I want to be a champion again, and I'm going to be a champion again on um, February 21st. Thank you.